This video is made possible by Audio Design Desk. I assume you would like to create better and more engaging videos, right? The five tips in this video will help you to do just that by teaching you some tips to create better sound design. Tip number one is to set the atmosphere or the mood of your video with ambient sound effects or drones. These are layers of sound that are essentially background noise, but they are so crucial to filling out your sound environment and sucking your viewer into each shot. So take this shot of this girl getting intimate with her straw at this outdoor coffee shop. When looking at this shot, what ambient noises would we hear if we were actually there? We'd most likely hear other people around chatting. So let's use this coffee shop ambient sound effect. We'd maybe hear some birds and wind since it looks to be outside. And we could even put a traffic sound effect in. We'll set it at a low volume and maybe change the pan mode so it sounds like the sound is to the right of the viewer or camera and is in the distance. So with just a few sound effects, we created a whole realistic sounding environment for this shot. Even if you create travel videos and you record audio and camera, you might find it helpful to add a bit of ambient sound effects to help suck your viewer into the video more. The other background layer you can add to your sound design are drones. Drones are usually monotone sound effects, mainly used to create suspense and emotion. You'll hear this all the time in the background of movies. Stations came through. How? The relay on this side cached them. So listen to this shot. Now, here it is with a drone layer underneath. It is a pretty big difference in creating a dread sort of feeling, huh? So give this a shot in your next video. Fill your environment by adding ambient sound effects and create some mood by including some drone sound effects. Tip number two is to accentuate moments or cuts in your video with hits and risers. A hit is usually a quick impact sound that we can use to create immediate emphasis on a specific moment. Hits are most notably heard in scary movies when a jump scare happens. But they can also be used to help highlight a shot change and to make a shot more pronounced and important. In this example, our music is building to this moment, which is where the rest of the orchestra comes in and where a longer shot has been placed to pair with that change in music. It sounds like there's a hit already built into the music, but notice the difference it makes when you layer a few variations of hits at the right moment. Our sound design sounds even more full and complete when we add in some risers. Risers are sounds that rise in pitch or volume over time and help to create tension. We found your daughter. She's alive. And it doesn't always have to be scary tension like you'd assume. Even in the video portrait I posted on my channel recently, I added a riser to build into the moment when the music drops and the longer close-up shot of the model was shown. Something I'd suggest is placing a riser and having the end of the rising sound be right at the next shot or at the moment in your clip that you'd like to emphasize. Then you can highlight that important moment even more by adding a hit sound effect right where the riser sound drops off. I get it, sound design can seem tedious and time consuming, but it does not have to be that way. That is why tip number three is to use a dedicated DAW like Audio Design Desk to help make sound design easier, more fun, and keep you in the flow state. One of the biggest time wasters and things that that sucks me out of my creative flow is having to manually find different sound effects, line the climax of the sound effect up with the correct frame, then head back into my list of sound effects to find another one that works better and repeat the process multiple times. But check this out. By pressing R for riser, it automatically places a riser on the timeline. If I need to move the sound effect a little to the left or right, I can just press period or comma. And here's where it really becomes useful. All I have to do is press command R with the sound effect selected and the software instantly replaces that riser with another one of these software's risers. If I find that I want a longer, more drawn-out riser, I simply press Command-Up 
and a brand new, longer riser replaces the one I had previously. And the best part is, the software knows exactly where all of the sound effects are supposed to sync and what frame you want it to sync with. So what do I mean by this? Let's say this title pops up and you want a hit to occur right when it comes up. So you press H for hit, press period or comma to nudge it in place, and if you press command R to try out different hits to see what you like, the exact peak of the hit, which is right here, will always line up with this title appearing, no matter if the sound effect is a different length. This is so cool because you could just select everything on your timeline by pressing Command A, then hit Command R, and now you have created an entirely new composition with every sound effect, and with all of them instantly and perfectly lining up. As you can imagine, this is a quick way to get perfect sound design for your videos. The other thing that makes Audio Design Desk a game changer when it comes to sound design is the fact that you can create your sound design in real time. Nothing is more tedious than adding Foley like footsteps, clothing moving sound effects, punches, sword sounds, etc. It takes way too long. Watch this though. Pretty amazing, huh? With ADD, you use their trigger pad to assign different sound effects to numbers 1 to 9, and then you just hit the number when you want the sounds to play. The great thing is, the software uses an artificial intelligence tool to automatically randomize which sound effect is placed. So you'll end up with a slightly different variation of that Foley sound to help mix it up and make it sound more professional. And if you want to replace those sound effects with specific sound effects from the library, you just use the replace tool, select the sound effects you want, and hit shift return. Now you just swapped out those footsteps for entirely new footstep sound effects, and you don't have to go through and line anything up again. When you import the project from Audio Design Desk to Final Cut, it even color coordinates your sound effects by placing them into rolls automatically. This tip of using a DAW like ADD is so beneficial if you value your time and your sanity while creating sound design. The company is giving out a free license as well as some licenses for their sound effect packs to you guys, so stick around till the end of the video so you can see how to win some. Tip Tip number four is to manipulate your sound effects to fit your visuals. What I mean by that is that sometimes it really helps to adjust your sound effects pitch, you can add different effects on it, or adjust the duration of it to help it fit the visuals better. In this trailer for M Freeze Frame, which is a plugin by Motion VFX, I placed a Buddhist gong sound effect as a hit when the shot switches to this Buddhist monk. The issue was the actual sound of the gong is really low and doesn't fit with the music. So what I did was change the pitch of the sound effect to match the music. And now it fits so, so much better in the edit. The same goes for adjusting the duration of sound effects. If you have a transition that needs a whoosh sound and the whoosh sound you want to use is just sounding a little bit too long, adjust the duration of it to help match the visuals better. You may have to play around with it a little bit to get it just right. And here's how this can be done in Audio Design Desk. I just hit Option Shift and Up or Down and I raise or lower the pitch instantly. And with retiming, I just hit Option Shift and Left or Right. You can also press E and just drag the sound effect to retime and notice that the sync point stays in the exact same spot. This isn't the case with Final Cut or other softwares. You'd have to move your sound effect back in place again. Just a warning that sometimes adjusting your sound effects too much can cause a little bit of distortion. Tip number five is to get creative with your sound effects. You don't have to find the exact sound effect that you're seeing visually for it to work. You'd think that with this shot, I used an inside the airplane sound effect, right? It's actually wind noise that I changed the pitch on and muffled. And then also there is a slightly muffled sound effect of RC planes about to take off. Here's another example. If you have a shot of your subject and her dress is flapping in the wind, you can use a flag flapping sound effect instead of a clothing movement sound effect and it'll work really well, if not better. 
The reason for this is because bigger sounds at a lower volume sound better than realistic sounds at a higher volume. This was taught to me by filmmaker Brandon Lee, and it's something I think about often when creating sound design. It's just so fun to try out different sounds, and too often you'll be surprised at what works best. So for example, in this shot sequence of this SWAT team opening this door, I wanted it to sound like they ripped off the lock and busted in. I could have tried to find a breaking down wooden door sound effect, but instead I found these four random sound effects that worked great. A sound effect of a gunshot to represent the lock breaking, a refrigerator door and a car door opening for the actual movement of the door, and the sound of wood crashing to represent this wooden door snapping open. Separate, they don't sound like much, but layered together, this odd compilation of sound effects works well. Realizing that you can play around with random sounds and get away with it is part of the reason why I know you will end up loving sound design if you don't already. However, the workflow I understand can be tedious and ruin the vibe, which is why that software I went over, Audio Design Desk, is so revolutionary in my opinion. And all of the tips that I went over can be created quicker and more efficiently in the software as well. For this giveaway, one of you will be winning an Audio Design Desk license, and they will also be giving out some of ADD's high quality compilation sound effect packs. And you don't need the software to use the sound effects packs, by the way. So all you have to do is click the link in the description or in the comments and follow the steps on there. The more steps that you follow, the more chances that you have to win. This giveaway will be open for two weeks and after that two weeks is up, I will announce the winners in a community post on my channel and I will email the winners as well. Good luck and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.